Hi, my name is Wilson Logan. Today I'm going to talk to you about importing messages, cleaning up your messages and exporting messages. First, let's import some messages. You should choose File, Import from Folder and Browse to the Archive File. In my case it's 7x10 mini lathe. Now if you double click you can choose range of messages to import so I could change that to 20,000 or I could change the end message to 127,000 I'm going to choose to take them all Now the reason I've chosen 7x10 is that it's notorious for having an awful lot of off-topic chatter Okay, so if we now look at the group, we can see that it says it has 59,000 messages. This is because a great many messages have already been deleted from this archive as extraneous. Now, I would recommend that the first thing to do is sort by subject. And then you can look for particular subjects that you might think are going to be something that you'll want to delete. So anything with off-topic or spam or election or Republican or Democrat or... So <clears throat> let's choose the search option and in the subject the advanced subjects option. So we're looking for any of these words OT O dot t dot o dot t dot o t democrat. Okay. Find. So we have found no surprise 16,797 records so lots of off-topic nonsense so if you choose control A that selects all the items right click and choose delete that will delete the 16,000 extraneous items and if you close the search window you will get back to the main list of messages and if we just have a little troll ah there we go dash ot that's one I missed so if we search again subject advanced messages uh, this exact phrase dash ot and we found hmm, 93 not exactly a brilliant quantity but still worth getting rid of if we go once again close the search window which allows us to go back to the main list of messages um, we can just have a wee look what have we missed it's looking much better now after this it's simply the um, opinion of the person doing the editing what you want to remove once you're happy with your uh, final edit you should choose file export to folder browse and then put in a, a suitable name so and choose export export finished now if you want to see the file you've created if you choose file open data folder you can see there's the file that you've created now I recommend that you always zip these files 
and the reason for that is that you will gain as you can see the pressure ratio is 24% and you will gain three quarters of the size of the file if you zip it in other words the 145 megabyte file will become 30 megabytes so it's, it's a worthwhile saving you can see it there 149 32 so that is definitely worthwhile so once you've created your archive file and um, what i do is i upload the file to my dropbox account and then i create a link and allow it to be shared with uh, other members of my group so in conclusion if you wish to share an archive of your group with your fellow members first decide on the edit that you're going to have export the file, zip the file up and then make it available to your members.